Hello, welcome back to a brand new Mega Pokemon video. So this is a very, very, very late video, and I do apologize for that, and I know a lot of you guys are probably going to be like, Oh my god, John, where the hell was the video? And I do apologize because I have been quite busy recently, and a lot of you guys are on holiday, really, but um, in England we're not actually on holiday, I mean a few schools are, but... A lot of people in Americas and in the Frances, they're not on, they, well they are on holiday yet, and we're not, but I will be on holiday in one and a half weeks, um, hopefully, and basically I will be bringing an upload schedule hopefully throughout the holidays, and it'll be a hopefully one, I'm saying hopefully a lot, gee, it'll be one video every two days, I think, and I will be going on holiday for some of the, um, holiday, which, I will be going away for some of the holiday, which is what I meant to say, so the videos may, like, um, I don't know, slow down a bit, but I'll try and have some scheduled uploads. So just look at all these animals here, like they're all just partying. There's a sheep over there, and there's another sheep over there. And, ooh, an underground little ark. That's nice. Anyway, so today we're going to go and do an achievement. And I don't really think I've talked about this achievement before, because this was quite a new achievement. And what I did was I went through the last few videos, and I was looking for some, well, the 15th achievement, and I saw one, and it was basically to fall from the top of the world to the bottom of the world. And I saw, I, I, I saw, I thought, that was a really cool achievement to do, because it's like quite a fun achievement, it's quite like cool to watch as well. So I've, whoa, I nearly fell it, I nearly fell in. But with the quarry, I've sort of expanded the quarry, and I sort of dug a huge like pit, all the way to bedrock, and then at the bottom I filled it up with water, you can sort of see the water there. And I filled it up with water, which will hopefully cushion our blow, or our fall when we fall. And hopefully, oh an apple, I'm gonna run and grab that one there. <laughs> and hopefully when we do fall in, we will not die, and we will keep the achievement of not dying so far so i just really hope we don't die so let let's just go um let's just start building and i can i don't know talk a bit so i'd like to thank a few people because basically on twitter uh quite a few of you guys sent me some i don't know some drawings that you did of me and i thought wow that's so awesome or you did in my skin and i was just like whoa that's amazing these are so great so i'd like to give them a few shout outs and show off the drawings so the first one is um from lunatic guy and he did a, like, a speed art as well of this. Um, I'll put it in the description below, and hopefully you guys can go and click on that and say, whoa, thanks for the speed art, man. And, you know, that'd be really great, so go and, like, thank him. And it looks amazing, so I'm now using that as my, um, my Twitter avatar. So I think it looks really, really great. As well as this, pure MCPE did this awesome drawing of me and Mr. Sheepy. And I'm sort of, like, hugging Mr. Sheepy a bit weirdly. Um, I don't really do that with sheeps in real life, you guys, don't worry. But I thought this was quite a cool photo, and it had a nice little background. We also did one, um, of, like, a load of sheep, and me, and, like, just everything was me and Mr. Sheepy. And I was like, whoa, that's so awesome. And then also, Goop and Frank, 48, I think I said his name right, um, he did this amazing picture of me, and it's me without my makeup, and there you go. This is actually a, this is actually a factual picture of me, like, this is what I look like in real life if I haven't done my makeup. And as you see, I'm looking quite sexy right there. So anyway, let's just go back to Minecraft. And we've actually got to the top of the world. It's, it's all looking so beautiful up here. That's a bit weird over there, actually. I don't know what to make of that. But I think that's just a terrain glitch. And um, we're going to just fall down, hopefully not die, and we get the achievement. And oh, we're above the clouds. This is beautiful, you guys. The sky and the clouds. Oh, wow. Anyway, let's just do this. So um, I'll probably put a timer on the screen, and this will be our achievement done. So let's go! What? Woo! And there you go, there's bedrock. So we just fallen from the top of the world to the bottom of the world in a few seconds. And that was... Wow. I love doing that. I love falling. I don't know why. Not in real life, because you die normally. But um, I love falling in Minecraft, because it's just so awesome to see everything come shooting at you. Especially if you fall down. Oh, that was, that was really nice. That's why I loved the dropper map and stuff like that. So, yeah, that was awesome. So, we got that achievement out of the way quite quickly, actually, because I did do some work on that beforehand. So, let's just put down a little sign and a torch, maybe, so when it gets night time, we can still read the sign. Because I'm going to carry on by mining this downwards. Like, we've got quite a few more layers to go, actually. And I'm going to carry on mining this downwards, but um, we'll always have the sign here to remind us of when we did that achievement. So, let's just put it down. Um, who fell from the top of... No, it's top to the bottom. Bot. Um. Okay. Fell from top to bottom <laughs> with subs. And then the date, which is the 06th of the 07th of the 20 of the 13s. And there we go. A beautiful little sign and a beautiful little achievement. 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 Achieve. 
We got Achieve. Yeah! So, we're, we're slowly getting these achievements off. And I haven't really done much mining recently, because I sort of want to do the whole Nether Reactor th achievement last. And that'll be, like, sort of the end of this season, or this series, or I don't know. So, um, there we go, and we've got this horrible looking pillar right here. Um, I I'll probably go and mine that out. Some of the time, because right now I want to go and work on the chest room. Because if you can see my inventory right now, it is just full, and every single chest I have in this world is full, apart from I think the chests around the BFM. Because I don't think I've been filling them up very well. But um, all the chests down here, they're all full. Everything's full, apart from the cactus chest as well. But okay, not every chest is full, but the chests I use are full, and everything is so not organized. It's all just fiddly diddly niddly widdly, and <laughs> there you go. It's, it's it's exactly like that. So I sort of want to create a huge chest room. And just have all our chests in there, all our belongings, and all, like, categorized nicely. And it's just looking really beautiful. So here we are. No, oh, we didn't build any chests here anyway. Um, oh, there's our ladder to the top. Oh, the BFM is such a nice place. Let's go into our house. I think we should probably put some torches down, actually. Sensitivity is a bit high. So, the new update, what is this? Oh, yeah. That's weird. So, the diamond axe appears to have the same texture in your hand as the diamond pickaxe. You can see this This pickaxe is not being very well. Wow, what a bad pickaxe. So that's a bit of a glitch. And what I was going to say was the new update came out. I just found a glitch for it. But um, basically this update was a major bug fix, uh, I think, for realms and stuff. And it also added in a new little chat window. So as you can see, I have been playing around with it. So now we can chat and stuff. And it's looking really nice. And this does work, I think, a bit better than the last chat window. And the chat is at the top, so it's not like filling up the whole screen, which is a bit annoying. And as well as that, if you pause the menu, we actually have a sort of um, player list of who's on the server at the, at the particular time. And this also works in single player, because it's all sort of like serverly done. And this is quite a nice feature, because now you can see who you're playing with um, when you're playing with them. So let's just carry on through here. Hopefully we don't have any unwanted visitors again. And this is where the chest room will be. So we've been building it in this direction. I think this is looking really nice, actually. This will this this will be a nice, nice, nice chest room. Um, I need to make some more torches. So let's go out to our torch making tab. Doot doot doot. And then we'll build or we'll make another two. And then we'll plonk them down. So we do have a lot of um a lot of torches or coal even back at our other chest bases places. Chest bases places. Um, I'm just gonna put. It's gonna be really lazy, and just actually no 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 wait wait yeah yeah no no wait yeah no. Okay, <laughs> I do some sort of like rap. Wait wait no no yeah yeah blah, blah. I can't rap. Okay there you go. So um let's put down some torches. I have another like one here, another one like up here and up here, and it looks so beautiful. So tomorrow will be Sunday, if this video comes up today, which is a Saturday. And on Sunday, I am doing that little like series where I basically show off some quite cool stuff that I built in Microprocution, and I'm really enjoying that series. And I've already, I've already like, um, I already know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. And I'm sort of like backing them up, so I'm getting a few like creations done, but I will run out of creations at some point, I'm afraid, which is sad. But um, let's just, let's make some chests, because we need chests, this is going to be a chest room. We're also going to need a lot of wood to make, um, what's the word, signs. So we'll make like eight chests or something, and then we'll make um, eight signs to go with those eight chests. So we need eight of those, and it's a shame that when we create signs it doesn't do what it does in Minecraft PC, where it, make, it gives us a lot of signs. Um, I think it gives us like three signs per like crafting, however in PE it doesn't, which is, it's sort of sad. It's a sad, sad day for everybody. But, um, I think it should be okay. You know, if this is a Minecraft PC, we need to remember. And I don't know why, but I don't think we actually acknowledge the achievement of getting all... of getting two-story high building. We did the, in here, the bookshelf achievement, I believe. But look, this is a two-story high house, isn't it? Then we got one... Well, that's nine by nine. Well, that's three by three, so it's nine. Yeah, we got, like, may, way more than 20 windows, I think. Look, look at that, that's a big window. So I think we can actually, like, take off that achievement. I don't really know why I didn't do it last episode. There is probably a reason, but I've probably forgotten it, because it's been, like, two weeks from then. So let's just put down some of these chests. So, um, hmm. Let's think about how we can do this. So, armor. And you can't put chests next to each other, so you need to put them, like, one up like that. So maybe, actually, weapons, or, no, tools, weapons, armor, uh, cobblestone, Dirt and gravel and sand. Uh, maybe wood actually. Then dirt and gravel and sand. Actually, maybe dirt, gravel, sand. Then wood. Ah, oh, see, it's just too confusing. Then like crafting. No, not crafting. Farming. And uh, yeah, can't really think of many 
we'll, we'll, we'll keep this chest just in case we need to make another one. We will need to make another one. So I have forgotten some things. And then what should we make it? Like the flooring. Make it like wood, wood, wood. And then we'll get out our beautiful little signs. And this is just how I create like all my chest rooms really. So we put a sign at the top here. And we say like, I think we'll make it look beautiful. Um, so we'll put that and that and that. And then we'll say, um, what was this? Tools? Uh, yeah, tools. I think, was there anything else as well? I don't know, I just think tools, really. And then, do 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 No, he didn't. He didn't walk anywhere. And then we'll just do that. I don't know, I sort of want to make it look nice. But, yeah, I think that's a bit too many lines there. I think I overdid the lines. And then maybe weapons in this one? Um, do do. And weapons? How do I spell weapons? <laughs> um, is it... Yeah, okay. I thought it wasn't with an A, but it'd be a bit embarrassing if I got it wrong, so I needed to check. Um, yeah, I'm really bad at spelling. I've already said this last episode. Weapons. Does that look right? Does that look right to you guys? No, why is there a D there? Jeez! <laughs> oh my gosh, all you just English students might me, be me just like, just unsubscribed right now. How did I- I, I can spell weapons though. I just get confused with the A, but... Damn, yeah, I was just looking at like, what the hell have I done there? Actually, wait, I don't like this blank bit. We'll just write it like this. Ah, oh, so much OCD going on right here. Weapons, tools, um, armor. Armor, and we're spelling it the English way, so it's an O-U-R, just let you guys know. I don't, I think it might be different in American. And then, um, cobblestone? Cobblestone is here. Um, we're gonna need a few cobblestone chests, so maybe we'll have like... I don't know, some expansion to this one. Cobblestone. 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 And then an X and a thingy dash. And then, um, that, like, little sign thing. And then we'll have it as dirt. Dirt. G. Dirt. Gravel. And sand. And then one of these things. And then wood. I think we need a wood chest. Wood and wood ETC, I think it is. Wood. And we actually use the and sign, just to make it look a bit, bit more professional. And wood ETC, there we go. And then this, and then this, and then this. This is probably like the most boring thing ever, but hopefully this will give some like ideas or something, I don't really know. I don't really know what the words would be. And then this will be the farming chest. But finally, we can organize stuff. I don't know. I like my organizations. So this is going to be like a really nice house, I think. And maybe we could have some windows here because we can knock out this wall. Actually, maybe not. Wait, there could be like a window here. I don't know, like a, a small one. Or maybe even doorway. I don't know. And then we... Yeah, maybe a doorway. I'm not sure. So then we also need to go upstairs and we need to say the achievement of getting the two-story house with the windows. So we've done like, I think, two achievements this episode. Um, If you count this as an achievement. So let's just see. Um, where where we put it? So, built two-story house plus windows with subs and the date. We saw built it last episode, but I'm just putting it down today. So, you know, there we go. So now we have a two-story house and this is not lit up at all. So we're going to have mob spawning there, which will be very bad. Oh, I really like this place. We need to have a get a fountain in and maybe some other stuff. That's that's like a really nice room, I think. Maybe that could be our bedroom. I'm not sure. We need to get a bed actually over here. And the flooring is still a bit poop. So we do have some spare like wood. However, we might need to keep that just for later because I'm not really sure if um spending all our wood on just building a floor would be very good use of our time right now. Yes. <laughs> So let's just go downstairs. Oh, we need a chest for mob drops as well, because we need to put all our wool and stuff. That is what I want to do, actually, at some point. I want to get a load of sheep, and um, put them into, like, a little house thing, and then keep that as, like, our sheep coop. And I also want to get a chicken farm up, but getting the eggs for a chicken farm is unbelievably annoying. Like, seriously, you can... Oh, we should have probably dumped a bit of our inventory in there. But getting the eggs for a chicken farm is very, very annoying to do because you need to basically follow a chicken around just waiting for them to drop eggs which I, I'm not not sure if many people have the patience for but I'll try and grab a load of eggs as many eggs as we can and as long as we can spawn one chicken in then we can have him start producing eggs and that'll be a chicken farm and hopefully 
as um, he produces more eggs, we can go back and check the eggs, um, you know, do that kind of thing. And then slowly over time, we'll get more and more eggs, which will be good. So let's have a little snooze, wake up. Um, yeah, so we need as many eggs as we can. The only issue is, I'm not sure if only adult chickens can lay eggs, or if baby chickens can. Because when chickens are spawned from an egg, um, not a spawn egg, but a proper egg, I do believe they are actually adults. No, no, they're babies. So we may need a bit of grass for them to, like, grow on, and then we push them into the chicken farm. Which I probably should have said in my chicken farm, like, tutorial video. And I still need to do and build a mob trap. However, it was good that we did get a few achievements off this episode. Um, hopefully we can get to the nether reactor at some point, and then finish this series, and, um, yes, and go on to the next series, which I've had a few plans for. I'm not really sure. It'll probably be, like, as we go, um kind of thing but hopefully we'll be able to like continue this kind of thing on maybe add some mods i'm not really sure but um the mods that are coming out like recently are an amazing like amazing leap in the modding community because seriously people are just adding so many awesome things um well carbon pe was just like the beginning of what we can do or what the modders can do i can't do any of it and this 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 hole in the floor is giving me annoyances so i'm just gonna do that i can't do any of it but um there's a lot of people who are modding at the moment and i think code code hacker i think it is um he is just like creating like huge and huge huge leaps in the modding community so i think it's really great what they're all doing and we're finally gonna have some really great mods i think saplings going farming as well as this stuff because i mean saplings are sort of farmable um so here we go that's all farming is and food and such and such um, the wood chest, which took a while to open for some reason. Then the sand and gravel chest. See? Like, that counts as sand, by the way. It's sandstone. It's sand. You know, it's made of sand. If, if I got a rock and I came up to you and I threw a rock with another... Oh, we need to make a glass chest. We need to make, a, like, an ETC chest, like, on this side, maybe. But if I got a rock and I made another rock out of the rock, then it would still be rock. So, there's my logic. Ah! So smart logic. <laughs> oh dear. So this is going to be another chest absolutely full of cobblestone. I'm not- I'm, I have no idea what to do with all this cobblestone. Should we burn it? Because we have the ability to burn stuff now. Oh, we need to get some of that nether rack and create one of those infinite fires and then burn everything. But, um, basically, yeah, we have the ability to burn stuff. I don't know why that came out my entry. Inventory. Um, this- this counts as stone, so that'll go in the cobblestone. We should have put cobblestone and ETC stone. Um, armor, we don't have any armor parts the stuff that we're wearing. Maybe some tools, because we do have this, that counts as tools, then that, and then that. And I'll keep all the, the useful tools on us. Oh, we need to make an ingots and gems chest. We'll, we'll have some more chests on this side. And I think that's like the end of the video there. So we did knock off two achievements, and maybe even three if you counted building a thingy-majig as an achievement, but we didn't write it down. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please give this video a like, um, subscribe, definitely go and check out, um... Uh, 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 lunatic guys um, video in the description and go and spam on it. Thank you so much for the fan art or whatever. Just go and spam. Tyler video sent me you know, the usual stuff. And here's some actual screenshots because last episode I forgot to put them up. So here's some actual screenshots of what you guys managed to do on Shnun Games' video. And I thought, wow, this is so awesome. And also, yeah. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please give this video a like, subscribe, goodbye, and I love you. So bye, bye, bye.